Hi, Sean Morris with a very chilly version of Sean's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make a world famous chili recipe. So I've prepared your grocery list for you. You will need two pounds of extra lean ground beef, one quart or 32 ounces of tomato juice, one 29 ounce can of tomato puree, one regular size can of mild chili beans, one regular size can of pinto beans, one half of a large onion, one stalk of celery, one third of a green bell pepper, one quarter cup of chili powder, two teaspoons of garlic powder, two teaspoons of ground cumin, one teaspoon of ground cayenne pepper, one teaspoon of oregano leaves dried, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of pepper, and one teaspoon of sugar or sugar substitute. I use Splenda. Then to prepare this, the utensils you will need are a cutting board, a one teaspoon measuring spoon, a one half cup measuring cup, a sharp knife, a chili ladle, and a bowl. So the first thing we're going to do is prepare our spice mixture. That starts with one teaspoon of a sugar substitute, one teaspoon of ground black pepper, one teaspoon of sea salt, and we'll pour that over our cutting board, one teaspoon of oregano leaves, one teaspoon of cayenne pepper. You've got to be careful with this because it's really hot. Now we switch to two teaspoons of ground cumin. One of my favorite spices. It's very earthy. Mm, love to smell it. And now two teaspoons of garlic powder. Mm, and Excellent. now for Excalibur. One quarter cup of chili powder. I'm going to be pretty generous with this, folks, and it tends to clump, so you'll have to bang on the side just a little bit. There again, this is why that we do this over our cutting board so that we don't overdo it. And this is going to be approximately one quarter cup. A little bit of clumping, a little bit extra is okay. Not a lot. And that is our spice mixture. So now we're just going to mix it up. Going to break up any clumps of spices that are in there with our measuring spoon. And the goal is to have a nice fluent mixture of chili spices to add to our ground beef. The clumps will disappear during cooking but we don't want them to be too big. That, my friends, is just right. So now it's time to chop our stock of celery. Let's cut it in half first. Then let's make three sections. And chop, chop, chop. And this is going to make roughly a half of cup of diced celery. Okay. This will be just about a half cup. Sometimes they're a little bit over, sometimes a little bit under. That's okay. And now it's time to finely chop one third of a green bell pepper. We're just going to get rid of our seeds here. You can tap it. That gets rid of most of them. And a little flame now to slice and finely dice our one-third of a green bell pepper. I like to be as efficient as possible. So if we can just make long strips, line them up, and then chop them sideways.
this a good sign? Yes. Mm. It'll be excellent, folks. And as you see, that's just about a half cup of finely diced green pepper. Okay, now we're going to finely chop our one half of the yellow onion. We're going to make two slices. One and two. A nice cross section. Be very careful. One, two. Keep your hand right above where we're cutting. We're going to spin you around there. Excellent. And we're through. Now we'll cut that in half. And this way we can see where we're at with the onion. Okay. Just make small chops. I like a chunky chili. If you don't like a chunky chili, you can just dice the onion in finer, smaller particles. In my book, the more the merrier. And now to add our onion. Look at the care and the carefulness. Oh yeah. And we have only used one bowl. I love being efficient. It's ready to go. So now it's time to preheat our stove to level four. Where's the beef? I'll show you. Now it's time to add our two pounds of ground beef. Alrighty. This is kind of an ornery package here, but we'll get it. Mm. This is actually from my cousin's farm. I like to support local. This is free range beef. So I just washed my hands. Now I'm drying them before we get on with it. Now we need to go ahead and smash the beef in there. And get it ready to mix in our vegetables and spices for our world famous Sean's Chili. Mm. Beef is already starting to cook. And now for the fun stuff. And vegetables and our spices. And we want to do this while the meat is raw so that the spices especially adhere to the beef and cook with the beef. That way you've got a full, even flavor throughout this world famous recipe. Drum roll please. Oh, if you could only smell this, that's the last thing that we need to install for Sean's Kitchen is smell vision And I like to really work in the vegetables and spices. Mm. Gives it such an even flavor. Yes, you do kind of have to work a little hard, but that's true with anything good, isn't it? So this is just simply going to have to cook for a few minutes until the ground beef is brown and then we will add our beans, our tomato juice and our tomato puree. So real world time you're looking at about 15 to 20 minutes to cook it at a lower heat. Now to add the tomato juice first. 
You might need a can opener, but I'm kind of strong, so there we go. I like to add the tomato juice first, and that gives it a base so that the beans don't get crushed, which is not a big deal, but I kind of like my beans nice and firm and whole. You can use a spatula, but I like to use minimal utensils to just scrape the tomato puree with our chili ladle. Okay. We don't like to waste here at Shauna's Kitchen. Pinto beans, and we're going to go ahead and pour in the entire can, and the liquid will actually act as a thickener and has a few vitamins in it too. And finally, the mild chili beans, and they like to stick at the bottom, so I usually give the can a shake before I open it. Didn't seem to work much on this one though. And that's okay. This is going to be so good, you won't believe it. My world famous chili recipe. Just for you. Well, we simply stir everything in. And I use an extra lean ground beef. And I do not drain mine. There is a little bit of extra fat that you can see. But that will adhere to the spices and makes it so flavorful that it's just simply worth it. I'm glad to just spend a little bit extra time in the gym. Mm, you can see the glisten. Wow. And we'll want to go ahead and simmer this for about an hour and a half. And stir about every 15 minutes. And what you will end up with is absolutely fabulous. Look at that beautiful chili. Sean's world famous chili recipe is now in your hands. Thank you so much for watching.